let's let's talk about the day they fired my sister. And let's talk about how this company has it in their little packets that they can fire you for no reason. I believe they have it in their packets. I'm not 100% sure, sure, but I think I read that somewhere in their packet. Um, my sister, I was, uh, wasn't even living up here for a long time. I just moved back down here to start my own business, actually. I'm trying to open my own tumbling gym for the community so I can get kids off the streets and teach them, uh, you know, not to be to be their own person, to be an individual and stick out for uh, stick out from the crowd and, and don't follow the crowd just because everybody else thinks it's cool. I try to teach them that they're cool themselves and how to be cool themselves and not worry about uh, public opinion or the majority of what people think. Um, but uh, back to the subject, as far as the day that they fired my sister, um, I had a meeting with them. Well, we both had a meet with them. Their district manager had a meeting with my sister. And then he had a meeting with me before this meeting was going on. Their staff was treating her so bad. It didn't make any sense. She was one of their best employees. She was uh, she knew she knows more. She knew more than all of the uh, managers that they had there. And she can do more things with them. And she wanted to uh, treat people fairly. So she was going around asking people, do you feel like you're being treated fairly? Do you feel like um, this company is uh, giving you, you know, what you deserve. And a lot of people, they're not, they, they probably won't say it now, but they, uh, then they all griped and were saying, yeah, I feel like they're not doing this. They're not doing that. They're not doing the third. And supposedly they were going to hold a meeting with everybody to hear what everybody had to say. But um, that meeting was like, they, they planned it like a month in advance. I guess they thought everybody was going to forget about it. I don't even believe it uh, even happened. I'm not sure if it happened. It might've happened, but, um, um, she was going around doing that and uh, she helped save their food cost for the score, the, the store two times. They sent her away to another store to get her trained to be a manager, which they gave her the runaround about that because they knew that they knew she was going to be a better manager than all the managers, including the GM. And they knew that, too. So they kept holding her back and letting their little friends get promotions and get raises and get, um, I believe, letting them get raises. But uh, from what I heard, but uh, I know that they let them get promotions and let them do um uh, they show basically their little favoritism because the district manager liked uh, one of the managers or he uh, w was showing his favoritism towards that manager. And that manager was a, w was able to get a promotion before my sister and all this other stuff, which um, that's fine. I don't even really care about that. But the thing is, the way they treated her is after she started asking for help and she started um, contacting HR, they started targeting her and bullying her and harassing her and um changing changing her little write-ups to final warnings and stuff just so they could fire her because the gm is a high school student minded student and she likes to um come after people's jobs she's really if you ask me like i, I said in one of my posts i believe she's the devil's little sister she's one of those sheeps and uh wolves uh, one of those wolves in sheep's clothing and she wants to uh, make people think that she's so innocent and she hasn't done anything wrong and she would never do anything wrong and um but that's what they did. So my sister had a manager, I mean, had a meeting with the district manager and he tried to get her to transfer to another store that was an hour away from our home. Uh, she didn't want to because her, my little nephew, my three-year-old nephew whose babysitter was like five minutes from the Huntersville location and the Huntersville location was about 20 minutes away from our home anyway. There was no reason for her to transfer other than they didn't like her sticking up for her and asking for her rights and her just dues and what they were kept promising her and promising her, but uh, beating around the bush and sugarcoating why they couldn't, or not necessarily sugarcoating, but basically just saying, um, um, lying, basically procrastinating and, and not letting her get her fair share because, in my opinion, they probably knew that she was going to end up being uh, one of the City Barbecue's best managers. And um, so after he had the meeting with her and she, she said she didn't want to transfer, of course, he probably had the power to make her transfer, but, but she said she didn't want to. Um, so then he had a meeting with me on the same day after his meeting with her. But the meeting with me was the meeting that is a video I have recorded on here with me, him, the district manager. I mean, the district manager, the assistant general manager and the general manager. Two days after this meeting, when they saw I wasn't um, going to fold and I wasn't going to um, ask, um, stop asking for fairness unless I got it. They um, went back to their video footage and basically tried to find something, anything that they could find to fire my sister and um, say that that was grounds on her being fired because she had already had a final warning, which it was, she didn't have a final warning. They changed it. They had gave her a write up after their little perverted manager uh, who sexually assaulted three of their other females 
uh, physically assaulted her. They wrote her up because they said that she was partly to blame for being um, uh, physically assaulted by a manager who was two times her size because she gave him the middle finger. Now, mind you, the GM uh, gave me the middle finger, finger the next week. Um, and all, everybody in there gives the middle finger that you were when we were in there, they were playing music on the speakers with a whole bunch of cuss words in it and all this, uh, all this other inappropriate stuff. They want to talk about somebody being inappropriate in Facebook posts. So um, uh, they fired her thinking that it would that it was going to get me to quit. So they told somebody to stay in for my shift and said that I wasn't coming in and kept telling them, we know he's not coming in. We know he's not coming in. So stay for a shift. So that person, which was one of our friends, he stayed, he stayed to see if I was going to show up. And I ended up, did I ended up, I did show up and it was the day that they fired my sister, but she still gave me a ride to work. And, um, she gave the guy who was taking my shift, uh, or who they were trying to get to take my shift. She gave him a ride home because, um, he, he needed a ride home, I guess. And their friends, like I said, we're all friends. We used to hang out a lot and do all, all kinds of stuff outside of work. So she gave him a ride home. When I walked into the door, you should have saw their faces. You should have saw the district manager. You should have saw the general manager. And you should have saw the assistant general manager. They looked at me like, why is he still here? <laughs> and it was just funny to me because I knew that they expected me to quit. But that's the day that I made my first Facebook page and started documenting everything they were doing. So they can't lie in court or try to lie to the public and say that they did anything other than what I'm saying that they did. So um, not only did they fire her, she had came up to their store with my uh, nephew in the back seat, And uh, they were just dropping me off for work after they fired her. And I was on the phone with the GM at this time. Because the GM kept contacting me and trying to, I mean, not the GM, sorry, They're the head HR lady of their head HR department uh, on my way to work uh, about a week after they fired my sister was on the phone with me because she uh, discovered my Facebook page and she was just trying to get me to take it down. Not caring what happened, saying that they were going to investigate, even though they didn't. And all she wanted to do was take my Facebook page down, wanted me to take my Facebook page down. So I said, OK, I even said, OK, I'll do it because you since you promised me that you're going to look into this and you're going to investigate this. I'll take it down. So as soon as I get to the store, uh, the restaurant um, for my shift, before I even had a chance to take it down, the uh, general manager runs out to my sister's car in front of my nephew and gives her banning papers and says she's not allowed on the property anymore, even though they fire her for no reason and uh, made up a lie and said that she was trying to start a riot or <laughs> she was planning a riot. and. It, you got to be some kind of idiot to think somebody can plan a riot because riots just break out and randomly. You can't just plan a riot. So they um, they said that was the reason for her being fired. Now, now, so when that happened, I called, I got right on the phone with the uh, HR department lady and I told her, I said, I feel like they're, even though this is not happening to me, I feel like they're harassing me just because you can't just give my sister band paper just for dropping me off at work. And just because she wanted the Facebook page down, but wasn't worried about what's happened to us, she got on the phone with the, I gave her the, she told me to give the phone to the general manager and tell her to don't worry about the, um, uh, band papers. They can just tear it up. But you best believe my sister has all that saved because, you know, her lawyer has all this documented. So, um, she, she, I said, no, don't tear it up. I called my sister. I said, no, don't tear it up. Make sure you keep it. So, so they can see, so people can see how they, they were harassing you and trying to bully you. And basically I think that was another attempt at getting me to try to quit. What, what they expect her to do, drop me off on the other side of the street when I just coming in for work and all she was doing, she didn't uh, come. She could have came if she really wanted to, because she didn't do anything wrong after they fired her. She could have came into the building. Um, she could have came into the building all she wanted, even after they fired her. That she was out in the parking lot crying and, and, and upset and on her phone. And they came out and told her she had to get off the property after they fired her for no reason. So um, and when they did go back to find something to fire her for the 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 what they had fired her for was uh, horseplay, horse playing with the assistant general manager who was a coward and who horse plays with everybody in the store, throws stuff at people, uh, flicks people off, uh, does all this stuff. And um he said that um, what they had fired her for was he had went back into somewhere and got some grease or some lard or something that they use. And he said, the first person I thought about giving a, a, a lard of SHIT to was you. So he shoved it at her while she was working um, on the prep table and she shoved it back and it hit the floor. It didn't even touch him. So his little punk behind that, this little coward tried to act like that was a, a something for him to fear his life for. So basically, that's what you better say or feel like he was, you know, um, I don't know, scared or something of, of something like that happening to him. So they said that that was the reason for why they fired her after they had written her up for being assaulted. 
they made up that lame excuse for uh, why she needed to be terminated. Man, when I tell y'all the day that they did that, with the face that I saw on my sister's face, the look I saw on her face when she pulled up to the uh, to our home after they did to her like that, nothing can ever replace the pain. Every time I think about her face that day, it, it, there's pain in my heart because all she was trying to do was um, advance in the company and she deserved to advance in the company and, and they, they didn't let her and they harassed her, they bullied her and they targeted her and the company let them do that. And so did the HR department because I was telling them all of this stuff and none of them even cared. They didn't even say they didn't even um say come out and say stop this to the managers or anything like that. Only thing that they wanted to do was to stop uh it all of this getting out. But it's gonna get out because I, like I said, I'm be on here every day talking about how they do. So that's how they fire people. They go around and lie and they make up stuff and they set you up to be fired. Uh, uh in my case, they set my sister up to be fired, hoping that it would set me up to be fired. So that's why I call them frauds, low life, dirtbag, maggots, scumbags, all that other stuff, because that's what they are. How how immature can you be where you have to go back and find uh, to something to fire people because they're not backing down to the unfair treatment that they're um, receiving from your own management staff, from, from, from the top, supposedly top managers who are a bunch of kids. They remind me of... Uh, the three stooges or those three hyenas off the Lion King because they have to come together and plot on innocent people and try to make them feel guilty when they're the guilty ones. They might not have broke any uh, real laws, but they sure as heck uh, broke a lot of moral laws, universal laws, uh, laws of humanity and how you treat people. But they don't care because, like I said, they have dark hearts. They're evil hearted and they're evil minded people. So. Basically, that's the kind of treatment if you go to the Huntersville location, unless they're trying to change and act like there's something different now. That's the kind of treatment you will be receiving if you work there from these lowlifes. And these are supposedly their top managers. And they let all of this go on and they didn't reprimand. They didn't uh, punish these people at all, but they sure as heck let them punish us. This company is a complete joke. From the HR department to the head of the uh, company to the owners, whoever, they're complete liars, they're complete frauds, and they're complete jokes. And if you eat here and you keep eating here, and I'm going to say it over and over and over again, there's something very wrong with your mind that you think that this is a, a, um, a good company and, and that it's okay for them to just treat their own employees like this. That's how they fire people. That's why I just wanted to tell y'all that. And I'll, I'll be back on here some more saying some more stuff about, about this company, but that's how they handle business.